everyone, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I am here to do an unboxing. I have actually been on a spending, supposed to be on a spending freeze for a while. Um, if you don't know, if you're, um, if you've come to my channel before, you're a subscriber, you already know I'm supposed to be on a spending freeze. I actually did purchase some kits from Coco Daisy for my December daily. Um, it's been a struggle. There's been a lot of transitions in my family. Um, I was in California to visit actually my mom. So just, you know, a lot going on. And yeah, um, I've actually been doing December daily. I didn't get to do it for 2020 last year, but I've been doing it since 2017. I started and every year I've actually been doing it with Coco Daisy. And the theme is perfect because where I am currently at, I am no longer in Italy. So it snows in Michigan. So I just thought it would be fun because the theme was up my alley and yeah, I just, I, I couldn't pass it up. And I did have to be to become a subscriber to get it because the kits actually ran out so fast that if I didn't subscribe, I only subscribed to one um, kit and that was the, the memory keeping kit. Um, Memory makers, uh, the card where you get the cards, like Project Life cards. But I ended up ordering more because I knew I was going to use it for December daily. Um, before I open this up, I do want to share um, just oh my, this is actually three books from my December dailies. This is my 2017 book or insert. Now, some of them I can't share inside because I do have some personal pictures, but I can share a little bit. This is from 2018, which 2018 was a so-so um, year as far as my December daily. And then um, this is 2019, and I do have a 2020 book, but I really didn't do anything in that book. So um, the one I can share a little bit is the 2017 this one was like one of like my best. Like I had fun. This was like my first um, December daily. So uh, as you can see, um, I have been doing my December daily in a standard size traveler's notebook. This is actually a Chic Sparrow uh, Martini cover that I purchased. Uh, from a buy sell trade, buy sell trade group like a few years ago, and I actually up until now I was putting storing them in my Blue Jay. Then I moved them in another notebook, but I had never used this, and I figured this is a uh, this is cute to just uh, store it in, and um, yeah. So, but um, yeah, I I really enjoyed this. So this was my first year in 2017 and I just threw a bunch of stuff in here um, these were like personal size planner pages so here's the year right here sorry let me make sure my hand's not in the way so this is 2017 and most of the items in here were from the kits but I also used other items and I probably will occasionally hold the book up in case there's like some personal information or whatever uh, what I was trying to do, I was trying to do like a listing type thing. Um, oh, I was writing because my husband talks about the smell of autumn. And because I didn't live and grow up in Michigan, I grew up in California. He's talking about the smell of uh, autumn. So now living in Michigan, I see what he's saying, like with the leaves and things like that. Um, I even had written down like some Netflix movies and like my food bucket list so this was one of the this was fun so let's see oh yeah this is just like some movies we were watching and songs and boys to men and <laughs> let it snow if you know that song yeah and in christ alone and i can share this so just um this was in Italy, so this is where we used to live in an area called Via Grande. So I just put like what the temp was. It was like 48 degrees, I guess, de December 1st. And we went to like a downtown market. So I love doing the flips. I would love to do the same type thing this year. 
like this one I just cut up. I think it looks like either a card or one of the, uh, oh, what is it called? Um, could have been one of the papers. But yeah, this is like downtown Catania. This was so fun. This was our first um, Christmas in Italy. So let's see what else here. That was the vineyard. We used to live on a vineyard. So there's that. And then just some, I loved doing this. I had, I think this was, I got like a Pandora charm or something. So I put that in there. So let's see. Oh yeah, and this is, oh yeah, I ended up staying at a hotel. That's right, for my birthday. Okay, I'm going to cover this. So yeah, I did. There's my picture and then the charm. Sorry, it's out of focus. Um, yep. So just some little notes and things. This is a state in, well, so I had gotten a Cricut Air too, and then uh, my friends had gotten one too. And then, let's see. Okay. So that's just the hotel key, and then the tree, and then, yeah, this was, this was fun. I hope I can do the same this year. And then my husband came and we just um, ate at the restaurant there. Let's see. So yeah, this is my first experience with, they have like these cakes. It's like an Italian brand, so try that. Sorry if you hear my cookie clock, it is going off right now. And then here, um, Talked about the homeschool group. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There was some drama that went on. So I did like some hidden um, journaling. <laughs> Is it time to hibernate yet? Um, let's see. And then another, like a little bar in Italy. Our Christmas tree. This was such a fun project. I think I've somewhat, okay, there's some personal pictures there. So, but here's a candle. It's a little Glade candle. That candle smells really good. I don't really buy any other candles outside of um, Yankee candles anymore. And then this is where we used to live. And then the tree. This was a really fun, I hope I can do this again this year. And here, just showing like her movie night and then the tree right there. And then I just made like this little, I just took like a pocket page of simple stories the six by eight then just kind of made like a little I just stick cards in here it's just something a little fun this one was very interactive that's why I really like this uh one and there's days I just didn't write but you know that's okay like here I didn't really write this was such a pretty theme a little pocket card and I think that was actually it. I think I stopped. Sure did. There's like blank pages. <laughs> blank pages. And then I think that's just like a little Mecca Damien chocolate. But yeah, that was pretty it. Much it for that. And then actually, I think 2018... It wasn't much going on. I really don't have a lot of pictures. Yeah, this is just when I had dinner with some friends. So, 
Yeah, I don't really, I guess I didn't do a lot for 2018. Well, not really a lot done. So what I probably, oh, this is talking about Mount Etna because I live right Mount, by Mount Etna. Just talking about snowing. So yeah, see, I haven't even looked at this. But what's nice about this is I because it's set up, I can actually go through and I can um, catch up on that. But I think this one was actually my most productive book. Let's see. And then this is 2019. I don't know if I could show much here because it may have some personal... Um, I think this is just the month at a glance. See if anything personal. No, it's just talking about a birthday party, children's Christmas party, just little things. So the little calendar. So I did. I'll show my box. I will show. Um, and this is just when some friends and I went to Budapest. This was actually in November, so I just kind of, I'm going to actually journal about that. And this insert is actually a, I think, November 2018 insert. But the colors are so pretty that I used it. <clears throat> so I didn't purchase an insert. It's just my mood. Uh, airport food in Berlin. So we... Uh, had a layover in Berlin. I think we left Budapest uh, around December 1st. And then here, I'll just show you this. Um, there's a little area called Atrioli, and they have like a Christmas market. So we end up going there in Sicily. I think, yeah, this is just the map, maps of the different booths there. Yep, if you want to get an idea, yeah, it's just lined up. They had different things here. And then you go, there's a lot of Catholic churches. They're big on Catholic, so I didn't, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't here for that. <laughs> this is probably like the previous year. But yes. <laughs> pictures here I'm not really gonna share so this year I kind of just what I did was like because there was like blank pages I just like put family pictures just large family pictures there and so yeah so this I can finish out but yeah so that is pretty much it but I've always had fun just putting these together um if you want to see my process maybe I can do like a process on video I probably wouldn't be able to talk I probably would have to play music but if you're interested, let me know. So now I'm going to actually open this up so you can kind of see um, what kits I got. I usually, I'm trying to avoid un, um, unboxings, but I am going to show this because this is part of my December daily. So see, the theme is Winter Twilight. So that's why I did get this kit because of, uh, oh, please ignore my nails, please, because... <laughs> I, I've been trying to get this off for like weeks and it's not coming off. So yeah, my nails are looking a little ragged right now. So <laughs> ignore my nails. <laughs> so let's see what kit is this. And I won't get too detailed um, unless you want me to get more detail. But I'll kind of share what kits I got. So this one is... Okay, this is the... I think this may be the pocket page. Memory keeping. Yeah, because these are the cards. See all the snowflakes. I am going to have so much fun with this. So that's why I got this kit. Because the colors are so light and airy. So I'll just show you some of the 
papers. Oh, this is so pretty. The colors are so vibrant. And I don't know if there's any kits left. They actually uh, sold out. I love this. It reminds me of my kids. They're little with their little hats on. So it's so pretty. So that's that. And what I usually like to do also is like add vellum. I don't know. I got to see if any of these kits um, have the vellum in it. If not, I have some stash. So like, you see just the, the pretty little stars, the snowflakes, the letters, the alphabets. And they even give you like a little, inst a little instruction. It's <laughs> cute. And the, pa the paper is like perfect size. And um, you even get like, these are I think little acrylic pieces. And that one on top says light the snow. Little sentiments here. Winter walks and fuzzy socks. Different ones. Stamp. And then some washi tape. <clears throat> so the main thing I wanted to pull out in previous years, I have purchased the regular Dory, uh, standard size Dory for like the planner. Let's see, did I get that this year? What did I get? It? You know what? That's what it was. Uh, I got the B6. <laughs> I think I was debating if I was going to switch sizes. So let me see which one I like best. So that's the. Oh, that is so pretty. Maybe I will do B6. So I think that's why I got the B6 because I didn't know if I was going to do. Oops. B6 size. I like that there's not a lot of writing because in previous years sometimes there's just so much writing on the pages, but this is gorgeous. I may I may actually transition this year to B6. But the only thing is I usually do standard. So tell me what you think. I have tons of B6 covers too. So I guess for 2021. I could change it up and go B6. Because that is just so pretty. I don't know why I didn't get standard. I love the simplicity of this. This is so much better. And the colors are so pretty and light. So that is why I do the Coco Daisy books. So this one, see, okay, so I did see this and see how vibrant it is. Oh, I just don't know why I didn't get standard. This is cute. Mm. I don't think I'm going to use this for December daily. I think this would be fun. Maybe just to use maybe in January because it doesn't say anything like Christmas. And apparently in Michigan, January and February is when it snows the most. So I'm thinking, see, the only thing it has candy canes. I'm thinking I may go ahead. This is just so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, let me know in the comments what you would do. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to show too much, but uh, here's the papers. So, the papers for the this kit right here are pretty much the same, but I do. I really like these. So, let's just snuggle up and stay home. I think I really will save this for January. 
But isn't it kind of odd to like use a B6 and then jump to a standard? I don't know why I do this. <laughs> so, and this kit kind of has some of the same things. It's kind of duplicate. Duplicates. It has the stamps. And then some stickers. Different things pertaining to December and memories. Wow, this is just so gorgeous. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm going to set that up. And I always like this because, yeah, okay, I did see this. See, and this won't even fit in this. Hmm. <sighs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> so these are like little pockets. They're more for like A5 or wide size. So this is the main planner kit. So you get like little stickers here. And that is so pretty. Get those stickers. And then you even get numbers and alphas. And this paper. So this paper is different. Oh, that's pretty. Really pretty. This almost looks like that would go with that. That's gorgeous. Huh. I like that. And then this pretty washi. And if I'm quite honest, one of the main reasons, too, that I got this kit is because I like Simon. So you get this cute little Simon paper clip. I have a few of those. I got rid of the Elf and the Santa Simon. I wasn't really big on that one, but I have one like Betty and the Scarf and stuff. It's just cute. And then tons of die cuts having to do with winter. So this actually, this I can use for... Two, uh, two months. This kit. It's pretty. I like, and I can also cover this up and use these as like tip ins if I want to. Do like some die cuts on here. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so pen refills. Like, I need another pen. <laughs> so, here's a Pen. It's like a matte silver pen. Pen test sheet. Stamp. I like that. I'm going to have to use that because I do want to stamp more this year. I hope my lighting is okay. Um, I just have a lamp in back of me. so. Oh, this actually has something to say. Don't forget to shine. Oh, that's cute. And some like little glittery stars. So that's the main planner kit. Like I said, if you want more detail, I know there's like tons of unboxing. Mine is just quick, more for explanation. Um, I did, so I need to figure this out right here. So I did get the um, what's it called? Dashboards. I'm probably not going to use these. I may even de stash and sell these. I want it this size. Winter is the time for comfort, for good food and warmth, for the touch of a friendly hand, and for a talk beside the fire. It is the time for home. I like that. Yes, that's true. The plants in the earth are resting. Maybe we should too. <laughs> Sounds good to me. My first full winter in Michigan. <laughs> All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. J.R.R. Tolkien. To appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it is necessary to stand, to stand out in the cold. Aristotle. And this is probably like one of my favorites. 
because I can journal on here and use it as a tippet. Yes, I like that. I like this kit too because this could stretch me for two years. I know I'm not going to use everything. And then I had to get this. This is so pretty. And winter stars do shiver with a wish to fall as snow, landing gently on the earth, melting into life below. I know. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I honestly didn't know how pretty this was. I mean, I didn't know it was going to, I didn't. I didn't realize how beautiful it was till like you actually see it. My camera is probably not doing justice to how pretty this is. And we've been seeing these birds all around. So beautiful. Uh, the woodpecker, the cardinal, and the chickadee. <laughs> Every mountain top is within reach if you just keep climbing. So I can also use this like as a tip in. Use this as a daily something scriptures gratitude, and then you get these pages so pretty. And on the back, climb the mountain, not climb the mountain, not so the world can see you, but so you can see the world. <laughs> And the future lies before you like a field of falling snow. This is like, I have to say, between this one and 2017, these this is my favorite. Now, if I didn't live in Michigan, I probably would not appreciate it as much. Maybe a little bit, but because it snows here, like, this really, yeah. And I like this because I could just cover this up and actually journal here. I could cover this up and actually journal and use it as a tip. -in. So there's so many possibilities with this kit. Just now trying to figure out if I'm going to transition now to B6 every year or if I'm going to stick with standard. So I just want to share that uh, for my December daily. And if you want to see a setup, let me know and I will share a setup. I would love to do that. But like I said, I may not be talking most of the time. I probably just... Um, I probably just use music and then maybe talk in between. So, and there we go. So, thanks so much for watching. And also, really quick, like in the past, I've had like, this is like a mod podge of different kits. Like, this was really pretty too. So, I can like use this. And... Like just take the blues out or certain light colors. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna also use my stash. Those pretty cute little snowflakes. I got these I think for like a dollar fifty at Hobby Lobby. Then winter's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's it's going to be fun. I'm going to need to create, keep my mind busy, <laughs> especially with the big move and just the transitions going on. These colors, you know, that would go. That's pretty. So, yeah. So, uh, let me know if you're also doing December daily. Oh, this is from like the Christmas kit. So some of these I can use still. But let me know if you're doing December daily, if you are. And if you have a video, let me know. And I'll come over and watch your video. And maybe we can just encourage each other this year to get this done. And just just enjoy our December daily. Because I, I think I may have to transition to B6. <laughs> so... Well, thanks for, so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And, and like I said, if you got any other ideas, let me know. And I don't want to have to buy another book, but I really like this book. So I may just set this up and and go from there this year. So thanks so much for watching. And y'all have a blessed day. And if you're new and if you want to um, also watch more December Daily and um I don't know how much I'm going to do this year. I was going to share. I'll probably share my journals and my planner. Um, I haven't really been journaling a lot. 
I do like try to do my like my um, like my prompts for Coco Daisy. I do that a little bit, which I'm not gonna do this for December because I'm gonna be doing December daily. And then let's see. So I just set it up. I like put washi and then just do some journaling. And then I am doing a scripture a day. So I've set that up. So I had actually set the, this up for October. It's really cute. I set it up. Didn't get to do it. So what I'm doing for my scripture for the day, instead of doing it like I started it, I'm going to, uh, I just continue it for, um, for November. So this is what I'm doing for November. I didn't start any new prompts or anything. As you can see, I'm only on day seven, but I'm just working through it, working through it as I can. And I probably end up doing this. I definitely want to do my scriptures daily and yeah, so <laughs> that's it. So thanks so much for stopping by. Um, and I would love to hear what you think um, about this video. I know it's kind of long winded, but um, if you like shorter videos, let me know. I can always do short videos. I can do voiceovers, something different, but I'm still trying to get used to my new setup. I no longer have my own craft space. I share office. It's Oh, it's open, so there's no door like my craft room, which is nice because I have limited supplies in my uh, office space. So, like, there's a desk here and then across um, my children's desk is over there so they can do their schoolwork and things like that. So, yeah, it's a different setup. So, if it seems like I'm just kind of fumbling, it's because I am. <laughs> so, just trying to get used to my new space and being back in the States and everything. So, Thank you if you stuck around and thank you for your support. And I do plan on trying to do one more giveaway this year before um, this year ends out. I didn't get to do one each month, but I am glad that I was able to do some giveaways um, this year. And it is gonna, sadly, it's gonna have to be US only because shipping is outrageous right now and just things are just different now. So, all right, thanks y'all. Have a blessed day, night. Whatever time it is, wherever you're at, whenever you're watching, <laughs> take care. Bye.